All right, uh, Shalom, uh, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh, which is the name of the Most High, and Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Um, a few weeks ago, I was asked a question on the comment board by a well-respected brother. Uh, I believe the brother's name is, is Mike Slocky, brother, if I don't remember your name or pronounce it correctly, I have a thousand, you know, names I gotta remember, but, you know, the brother is, you know, they're really respectable, right? The brother's been around for, I want to I say, maybe two years or something on the comment board, so I have much respect for this brother, and brother, side joke, <laughs> this brother, right, I have much respect for this brother, yeah, even though we might, you know, disagree on, you know, certain, you know, topics in the scriptures, I still have much respect for this brother, okay? I don't believe I got his name in the uh, in the photo here, but you know Salakia, you know who you are. Um, but he wanted me to uh, to answer a question um, regarding you know what relationships you know are allowed um, you know in the scriptures. Okay, which is really a two part question because he also asked about um you know at what what point can you know can you be engaged to a female? Which I'm gonna you know do a separate video you know on that. You know I'm gonna have to. Now, I have it set up, but, you know, I, I don't have the time today to do it. But, um, you know, I wanted to handle this part of the question, okay? And the question is here. Um, I got the main point. It said, do you think you can do a video on relationships that are allowed and not allowed? This and other lie that I believe many people ha here especially believe, such as not being allowed to marry a cousin. But I could be wrong, so I would like to hear your two cents on the topic. Okay, so um, basically it's around, you know, what, what relationships are allowed. Okay, who are you allowed to, you know, sleep with and who are you not allowed to? And, you know, to put it short, okay, from my understanding, um, which I will say, Salakia, I don't have all of the scriptures here to bring out, but you can look them up yourself. The scriptures tell you in the book of um, the Leviticus that, you know, you shall not sleep with, uh, with your father's uh, wife, which is what, your mother. Okay, so that's one relationship that you're not allowed to engage in. Another one is you're not allowed to, you know, sleep with your sister. Okay, you're not allowed to sleep with your, you know, your blood sister. Okay, that's one thing that's not allowed. Okay, however, one thing that is allowed in the scriptures is being able to sleep with your cousin. Okay, you are able to sleep with your cousin. Now, I'm not saying to go out and do this, but, um, but according to the scriptures, you know, you can do it, man. All right, you can marry your cousin, okay, which, which you know, according to the Bible, you know, sex is marriage, okay, uh, what is that, Genesis uh, 24 and 67, All right, Genesis 24, 67, right, Isaac took Rebecca into his mother's tent, and she became his wife, now, what are they doing there, obviously, you know, he laid with the woman, and, you know, that consummates, you know, them becoming one, man, okay, um, anyway, uh, just to prove my point about how you can sleep with your cousin, when I say sleep, you know, I, I mean marry your, you know, your cousin, right? Or in other words, you know, be in a sexual, you know, relationship with your cousin right now. Again, I'm not saying to go do this today, but if you do do it, right? If you do do inside joke, <laughs> joke, but if you do do that today, for lack of better words, it is okay according to the scriptures, all right? It's not a sin. The scriptures say where there is no law, there is no transgression. So nobody can show me in the scriptures where it says that you can't eat fried chicken. So therefore, it's not a sin. Very simple. Um, anyway, uh, Genesis uh, 29 and verse 9, it says, And well, he yet spake with them. Actually, do I want to start above? I'll start from here. If you want to read the entire chapter, it's Genesis the 29th chapter. But I'm just going to get the point to prove my statement, okay? Genesis 29 and verse 9. And while he yet spake with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she kept them. And it came to pass when Jacob saw Rachel, daughter of Laban, his mother's brother. Look at there. I'll read that verse again. And when it came to pass when Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother. So we have that established that Rachel is um, Jacob's cousin. Okay says, and the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother, that Jacob went near and rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the flocks of Laban, his mother's brother. 
And Jacob kissed Rachel and lift up his voice and wept. And Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's brother and that he was Rebekah's son. And she ran and told her father. And it came to pass when Laban heard of the tidings of Jacob, his sister's son, that he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his mother's house and told Laban all these things. Not sure how far down I want to go, but the point of the matter is to pretty much prove the point. Anyway, says Laban said unto him, Surely thou art my bone and my flesh. And he abode with him the space of a month. But Laban said unto Jacob, Because thou art my brother, beholdest thou, therefore serve me for naught? Tell me what shall be thy wages. And Laban had two dollars. Remember, Laban is um is Jacob's um his uncle. Okay, the the uh, brother of uh his mother. Okay, so Rachel is his uh his daughter, which would be Jacob's cousin. Okay, it says Leah was tender eyed, but Rachel was beautiful and well favored. And Jacob loved Rachel and said, I will serve thee seven years for Rachel thy daughter. And Laban said, It is better that I give her to thee than that I should give her to another man. Abide with me. And Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed unto him but a few days for the love he had for her. Okay, so pretty much that's um. That's pretty much the whole lesson right there. Okay, that pretty much answers the, um, you know, my brother's point, you know, uh, of his, his comment here. Okay, is it allowed to sleep with your cousin according to the Bible? And the answer is yes, you can marry your, your cousin according to the Bible. Now, I'm not saying to go do that today, but nevertheless, according to the scriptures, you can do it as the example I clearly have given. Okay, um... Now, I'm not sure if this brother believes in, you know, polygamy, which is in the scriptures, by the way. But, you know, he can comment down below, um, you know, if he has any questions about that. But, uh, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, that's going to be the video there. Okay, so, you know, as far as the sexual relationship you can be in, you can be in a relationship with your cousin. You cannot be in one with, uh, with your close family, such as, you know, your sister or your mother. Okay, that's one thing. That's a no-no right there. You can't do that, according to the scriptures. But as far as your cousin, that's allowable, according to the Most High. All right, so, uh, you know, if this brother had any, you know, other questions, which I know he did have another, that was about, you know, when you're allowed to, you know, to, you know, be engaged to a woman, which I will handle that topic in a different video, you know, at, at, at a, you know, later date. Um... But yeah, I know you asked that, so I will answer that in another video. But, it, you know, I hope this was edifying, okay? And again, you can read the entire chapter of Genesis, the 29th chapter, for yourself to get the entire understanding, you know, just to prove the point. I, uh, you know, brought that up, okay? But anyway, um, you know, I hope that video was, you know, edifying. I also want to apologize that it took me about three or four weeks to, uh, you know, to, to get a video up for you. I sincerely apologize about that. You know, I had a few things going on and, you know, in my life that I had to, you know, take care of, you know, and I, and I still had to take care of, but, you know, it's lucky about that. So, you know, I hope that was very edifying. Um, that being said, I can say shalom.